So this week I want to talk about a player, one player in particular who I have a very close relationship uh, with, and that is Kapreet Singh Sandhu, the number one of the Indian national team, the goalkeeper of the Indian national team, the winner of the Golden Glove, uh, two seasons in a row, I think, for the Indian Super League, and the only player, the only Indian player to play in a UEFA Europa League game, UEFA competition. That's a big achievement, a very big achievement. Now, here's the thing. Uh, those of you who maybe don't know much about Gapreet's uh, background, Gapreet uh, signed for East Bengal, when was it? Um, I think he was 17 at the time that he signed for East Bengal, but he made his debut at 18. Now, why is that important? Well, I get asked a lot about players going abroad and can this player go abroad? Can this player go abroad? Do you think this uh, kid is good enough to go abroad? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Every situation is different. Every player is different. But here's the one consistent thing. Age. Any player who is not playing in the top flight of Indian football by 17, 18, I don't think has a chance to make it in Europe. In fact, it's not that I don't think. I know, I believe that they will not make it in Europe. Age is not on your side once you get past 2017, 2018. Why? Because to take the developmental steps, each of them takes a year. And I believe that it's approximately five years before a player can be in a position where he can really compete at the highest level. Or certainly compete at a very decent level. Now everyone raves on about the best player in the world. Who's the best player in the world? Who's the best player in the world? Who said Ronaldo? No, Leo Messi. Now people forget Leo Messi left Argentina at 13. He still had a lot of developing to do even though at that time everyone was saying oh my god this talent is amazing. Would Lionel Messi be the best player in the world if he hadn't have left Argentina at 13. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. You don't know. Who knows? One thing I do know for certain, he wouldn't be as good as he is. Might only be marginally, but he certainly wouldn't be as good as he is if he hadn't have left Argentina at 13. Anyway, come on back to Gapreet Singh Sandhu. This is why I have respect for Gapreet Singh Sandhu. So not only did he make his debut at 18, he was involved in a derby, a Calcutta derby at 18. And by the way, respect to uh, Trevor Morgan and his coaches at and around that time for having the courage, the balls, to throw an 18-year-old kid in, not for 10 minutes of a match, not any match, the biggest match in the calendar, the derby at the Salt Lake Stadium, 100,000. Not any match, the match, the biggest match in Indian football. To have the courage and the balls to throw him into a derby, between the sticks, one of, <coughs> excuse me, one of the most pressurized positions. You can't hide when you're in goal. Chai Tuesday. You cannot hide when you're in goal. You can hide when you're out lost in the midfield somewhere if you're a youngster. You can hide when you come on for the last five or ten minutes of a game. You cannot hide if you are between the sticks. Simple as that. So... Kudos to those coaches who, who gave him the uh, opportunity. Now, I went with Gapreet to Wigan for a trial. And he was still signed up with East Bengal at that time. And Wigan said, you know what? We love the potential of Gapreet. We would like Gapreet to come and stay with us, not for just the two weeks that we were there on trial. We would like him to come and stay for at least six months with an option of actually uh, buying him transferring him, because he was still under contract, remember, at East Bengal. And uh, so we asked East Bengal kindly, would you be happy to let Capri go for six months? No. The answer was no. No. Simple as that. No. Flat no. Now when you look back and the big picture and the grand scheme of things, and you look at where Gapreet is now, you look at that he's the number one of the Indian national team, you look at some of his, I mean, the performance that sticks out in my mind, that game against China, 
India should have been spanked 5-0. Maybe more. Maybe more. Maybe 7-0 in that game. Capri was heroic. Heroic. Why? Because he'd done his time abroad. He'd spent three years in Norway, which I'll come on to in just a second. Now, where's East Bengal now? Where is East Bengal in the grand scheme of Indian football? Now, I hope and pray that East Bengal are included in the Indian Super League because of their legacy, but only because of their legacy. But can you imagine? Can you imagine if East Bengal had said at that time, you go with our blessing, but if you come back, you must come back to us. That's been the bigger man. That's understanding that an Indian talent making it out of the country, plying their trade abroad and potentially going on to a much greater level and pushing forward the name of Indian football is more important than your stupid, what is it? What's the, that, the stupid trophy that they play for? Really? Think big, man. Think outside the box. Think of the potential. Think of the potential. Much bigger things at stake. Now, when Gapreet went to Norway, uh, he went on trial to begin with, like many players have to do. He went on trial. And here's the most important thing. He was offered a three-year, and he took it, a three-year contract. If a football club is not sure about you, they offer a one-year deal. This is what happens. This is well-known in football. If they are sure about you, they offer a three-year deal. If they're very sure about you, they'll offer you five years or more. If they are sure about you. So for Gapreet to tie down a three-year deal based on his performances during that trial in a foreign land, in a different style of football, and all of the other things, the food, not much of a Desi population in Oslo, the climate, the climate, bloody hell, the climate. Have you ever been to Norway in the middle of winter? Oh, <laughs> it goes through your bones. Trust me, I've been there. And for every pre-season that he started to be, to begin in minus 15 degrees centigrade. Anyway, to go from there and to work his ass off to get to a point where he became still, still the only Indian player to play in a UEFA Europa League competition or any UEFA competition for that matter. I mean, the thing that's sad to me is that very few have followed. Sanjeev Stalin, obviously, hopefully, hopefully, He'll progress and succeed. I really hope and pray that he does succeed at, uh, in, in Portugal at Cide Aves. Um, you know, let's hope that all works out for him. But there should be a flow. It should have opened the floodgates, but it didn't. But those three years gave Gapreet Singh Sandhu that football education that he needed to progress as a player and to become the number one of the national team. And to become a leader as well. And the leadership, the leadership is important. I remember having a conversation with, uh, with Sunil Chetri about this. He said that his time away from India playing, um, uh, being part of the, the, the setup at the Sporting Lisbon B team, away at, uh, in Kansas, every single time that he's been outside the country, enhanced his, his leadership skills. You have to look after yourself. You're away from family and friends. That support mechanism that you have, you have to cook for yourself. You don't have your mother cooking for you and all that kind of stuff. You have to look after yourself and it gives you leadership qualities. It gives you independence and all those things are important. And I'll talk more about Gapreet in the future. But that's why Gapreet Singh Sandhu gets my respect. He went there. He did it. He put up with a lot of dark days. A lot of dark days. Can you imagine what it's like being in that kind of climate away from your family? Thousands of kilometers away from your family? Without all of those familiar things around you, whether it be the food or just the, the sights and sounds and the smells of the streets that you were brought up on. That unfamiliarity of a foreign land. Do you know how tough that is at that age? Now, think back to Leo Messi at 13, leaving his homeland and coming to this strange place called Spain, called Europe. And everything that went with that. Now, he did have a support mechanism because his parents came with him. Capri didn't. And that's why he gets my respect. Uh, remember to subscribe. Press the subscribe button to like this. And also to 
post your comments as well.